The hunt is on to track down a virus circulating here in southeast Michigan, highly pathogenic avian influenza or bird flu. Now, while the risk to humans is considered to be low, avian influenza can have a devastating impact on wild and commercial bird flocks. But a group of scientists at Michigan State are operating in emergency mode to help identify the virus, limit its spread and protect public health. When we say we are in emergency mode, that is the mode we are in right now. The images look like a scene from a summer blockbuster. Scientists and body coverings with respirators handling highly contagious pathogens. But it's not Hollywood fiction. It's the work being done every day at MSU's Veterinary Diagnostics Laboratory in the hunt for highly pathogenic avian influenza. We're providing testing from everything from wild birds to domestic birds, whether those birds are in small backyard flocks or if they're part of large commercial facilities. Dr. Kimberly Dodd is the lab's director. It's the only lab in the state approved by the USDA for this kind of work. Diagnostics teams here went on high alert back in February when the virus was first confirmed in a backyard flock setting up after hours and weekend teams to test specimens whenever they come in. From time of receipt to reporting out the results is generally three to four hours. Because time is essential to limiting the spread, the virus is being reported in 40 of the 50 states. It's the biggest bird flu outbreak since 2015, when more than 50 million chickens and turkeys in the U.S. died from bird flu or were destroyed to stop the virus. The USDA says those birds accounted for about 12% of America's consumer egg-laying population and 8% of turkeys raised for consumption. The virus can also impact other animals, too. Three fox kits in Lapeer, Macomb, and St. Clair counties, like this healthy fox kit, were found suffering from neurological issues. They were tested for high pet avian influenza, and the signal in the brain was tremendous. When it's in the wild, nature is the director, right? So we are under the mercy of nature. But nature may help contain the outbreak. Highly pathogenic avian influenza is highly susceptible to UV light and high temperatures. With the onset of summer, the end of the outbreak may be in sight. Until then, the scientists at MSU's Veterinary Diagnostics Lab will remain on the job and on high alert. To protect our food source, to ensure food security and food safety. And that's a big component of what we do. Another component of what they do is protect our wallets. That 2015 outbreak, egg production fell by about 10%, but egg prices jumped more than 60%. So it's gonna have a real impact on our uh, bottom lines. Now, if you have backyard birds, experts say, consider taking down your bird feeder. The virus spreads through direct and indirect contact, and bird feeders are a way that wild birds can come into close proximity to domestic flocks. I did not know that, and I've always been a fan of bird feeders, so thank you. That was very helpful, Cannon.